Hi, I'm Stefan, the BMW DIY guy, and I want to show you how you can install the amazing front grille screens from Zunsport and help protect your car from road damage. All right, before we get to the install, let's talk about the why here really quickly. Now, my example today is my M2 competition, and it's a good example because the only problem that this 2019 has ever had is it took a rock and actually pierced a radiator and started to leak. So something like this can, can be more than just an inconvenience. Imagine you're out on the road or a road trip and it's not easy or convenient or quick to get your car repaired or even potentially get towed in. So this can happen in day-to-day -day driving, but also in more aggressive environments. If you do club events or track events, quarter mile events, where you could get debris coming up or rocks coming up off, off the road or off the track. Something like this is gonna help protect you. Now, and this is going to be good for any car with it, especially with these big more aggressive front grille designs and also with all those exposed radiators as well so this is going to help protect you and not have a great day like out of the track turn into a bad day because you end up having to get towed home all right so let's jump down to the car let's do this, this is going to be a quick install and i want to show you how you can do it too all right so the install is really simple and there's some recommended prep work first because the way the steel mesh is made uh, there can be some sharp edges on the back and the last thing you want to do is tear up your paint so what i'm using is this blue painter's tape um, all around on the painted surfaces on, on the openings around the grills because the last thing i want to do is, scra is scrape these up as i put these on now what i've actually done is i've already installed one of them and i want to show you what that looks like now i still have the painter's tape on but there you go so there's the passenger side already has the grill on and it, it looks really good because what I want you to do is kind of, you know, see what it looks like. And then I'll show you the install on this side on how to do it. And then the center is going to be a little bit different. So I'll, I'll share the instructions of how we do that once we get there. But uh, these side screens use some screws with little toggles that go through the existing grill. I will go through the existing grill and then grab onto them. Now, depending on the shape and size of your grill. So if you're following these instructions for a different car, then your, your, grill, your grill shape may be a little bit different. So how you orient the toggles may be a little bit different. But in mine, the toggles are, are vertical. Now, what do I mean by that? Let me show you. So let me, uh, let me grab those to toggles on the other screen and I'll show you what the next steps are. It's really quite simple. All right, so these are these little toggles that are gonna go on the screws through the grill. So when you look at the grill itself, you want to make sure that it's oriented properly. You have it in the right orientation. You'll see that there are little uh, brackets for holding the screws. Those go on the inside, okay? So you can find your correct orientation for your car, just like that, as you can see. And it's going to be a tight fit as it gets in here, which is really, really good because it's going to give you good coverage. You, would, you wouldn't want it missing out on a little bit, okay? So then take the screws, put them through the hole, and then dial the toggle on and, and this little anchor bra bracket. I keep calling it a toggle, but it's probably more accurately an anchor. Okay, and this anchor just screws into place. There's a, there's a little, little hole here that's gonna screw onto this bolt and you're gonna be good to go. So you're gonna wanna do this for both of these. Now, the other thing that I find that makes it a little bit easier is that you put them on far enough. See, in this one, this is a good example. If you, if one of these little arms is in the way, you can get to a point where the arms don't expand properly. So what I actually like to do is I actually like to take these far enough that the bolt actually sticks out just a little bit, okay? You wanna give yourself enough room that you can fit it in, but you also don't wanna spin it forever. So just make sure you got a little bit of the bolt stick out, stuck out, then it won't hang up on, on the arms themselves, okay? So then you wanna do the other side, do the exact same thing. And then we're gonna zoom in and I'll take a look at what it's like to actually fit this into place. And in my case, what I mean by vertical is here's a little toggle, a little anchor that's gonna go through your grill. Now in my case, because of the, this honeycomb design, these anchors will actually go, if they're horizontal, will actually go straight in, All right? So there's no way that they would be able to hang on. But if the anchor is vertical like this, it will grab the bars of the actual existing grill itself and then secure itself down. So I'll show you that when we get there. Let me add the other anchor and then we're gonna fit it into place. 
All right, so like I said, with my grill shape, these anchors will go in horizontally. So you can actually just line them up horizontal as you, as you bring this up. Now this is where, again where the tape is gonna be a great thing because it's gonna help protect the surface as, as you get this into place. Now, I can already see my, my anchors are already through the existing grill. But what you wanna do is you, obviously you have to tighten them down. And in my case, you want, you want those anchors to be vertical. So what you wanna do is I, I'm actually gonna use my impact wrench as a screwdriver, right? With a little small bit on it, because I can hold the grill in place. But then the other thing you're gonna wanna do is take a narrow screwdriver or similar and reach through your grill to be able to basically secure the anchor. So I'm tipping the anchor to a, to a vertical up and down orientation and just slowly tightening it because this is allowing the anchor to stay in place while that bolt tightens down and it gets a hold of the existing grill. Now I'm gonna straighten it just a little bit Okay, just like that. So now if you are using a tool, an impact wrench like I am, which is on my which is on the lowest setting that I can use, what I want to do is just bring it down until it gets snug, because this could apply enough pressure to be way too much. Way too much for the plastic, way too much for the grills, way too much for the bolts. Okay, so as soon as it gets snug, if you're using a tool, which is, I'm doing this to be faster, and it's easier that way. Doing it by hand, you just turn and turn and turn and turn. So that's in really secure. I'm also gonna take a small screwdriver and tighten it down a little bit by hand, just to make sure it's as tight as I want it to be. Okay, but that is really nice and secure in the place. And then you just wanna do it again on the other side. This one, again, just kind of rearrange around. If you put your screwdriver into the bolt, it'll straighten out the anchor on the backside. You just reach through with your screwdriver or other narrow tool, and then just tighten down, holding the anchor vertical in this case. Your, your car might be different depending on the design, right? Depending on the design of your of the slats themselves. So yeah, see that's nice and tight already. So I'll just tighten them up by hand, but there you go. It really is that simple. That's one side done as I showed, cause I wanted, I wanted you to see what the other side, what it looked like, but now this side's done and the other side's done and you can, you can take the painter's tape off as, as well at this point, okay? So go ahead and take that off. Let's move to the center, which is gonna be a little bit of a different install, but just as easy. All right, so let's finish up the center. Uh, the way it hooks on is a little bit different from the sides. So the sides use those anchors, those screws and anchors. These actually have a series of tabs all the way around. And what you're gonna do is guide these tabs into place on all of them, okay? Which is gonna give you the ability to provide a little bit better fitment. Now, the other thing I just wanna call out while I'm here that I'm really excited about is these grills actually extend over into the brake ducts as well. So it's gonna cut down on any debris that can fly back through the, through the brake ducts, which is actually really cool. So in this case, this is gonna be really simple. All you're gonna do is just guide it into place, get the right fitment, and then just gently, carefully, start working these tabs in. Now all these tabs will lock in and back behind. There you go, like that. We'll lock in and back behind all of this plastic trim. Now, if you notice, it's still a little loose. So what you're gonna wanna do in that case is actually take, again, a narrow screwdriver. In this case, I'm gonna actually probably use my pick, to, or use my pick tool um, because it's gonna be narrow enough that I can reach back through and press and secure those tabs in a little bit tighter because what I don't want this thing to do is to move around or rattle. That wouldn't be good. Now, the other thing that I'm gonna do before I tighten this down into place is I'm actually gonna take my painter's tape off now. That way, if there's any, that'll be trapped back behind. And, the, and this lower edge is definitely gonna be trapped. So I still have some flexibility where I can move this around and it's not gonna hurt my paint, but I can get this off without pinning any tape back behind this grill as well. So I'm gonna take this opportunity and actually take all of my painter's tape off now that I don't need it, okay? So I would suggest that you do the same. So go ahead and get all your painter's tape off and then just reach through, find all your little tabs. Like this one is not secured back, back, back at all, which is fine because it still gives me enough room to get all of my painter's tape. 
So I'm gonna clean my painter's tape off. I'm gonna secure all those tabs by bending them back so they apply a little more positive pressure, get a little bit better anchor. anchor. And then you're all done. Then we'll, all right, so all done. Easy install, all the painter's tape is off. The grills are on. Looks really good. Center one, like I said, was really simple. Just make sure to bend those tabs down so they get, so they're good and secure, so it doesn't rattle or move. Looks good on all the sides. So all in all, I'm really impressed. The install is really, really simple. I think this looks really good. It's really subtle. It gives great protection. It's gonna cover all of those radiators and at the same time doesn't look glaring to do it, especially in a black car like mine. Now they make all kinds of screens for all kinds of different cars, not just BMWs, not just M2Cs, but this is something you should definitely take a look at and really consider the quality of protection you're gonna get, especially if you take your car to the track. All right, all, all done. As you can see, this is a really quick install. This is something you can get done in easily in under, under 20 minutes, just a couple of simple tools. And it's gonna make a huge difference, not only in the look, but more importantly, in the protection that you have for the front of your car. This is a really cheap investment that you can make and I've seen folks taking their car to the track and put chicken wire and other things, you know, from, from the hardware store in for screens like this. You can get these pre-made, prefab, really professionally made screens and they're gonna fit your car perfectly and they're gonna look good doing it. So this is a great way to protect your car from street driving. Also, if you get to the track or club events, I highly recommend it. Thank you to Zunsport for making such a fantastic product that's so easy to install. I highly recommend it. Make sure to check them out. Again, everything you need is gonna be listed in the description below, and please click subscribe and the little alarm bell. It makes a huge difference to my channel, and I have a ton of new content coming all the time. Thank you so much for watching, I appreciate it, and I'll see you on my next project.